Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, didn't really plan on making this video today. You guys can see I'm down the old barracks. We got something going on up there right now too. You can see uh, either fire trucks or ambulances. But anyway, that's not the story. I was uh, flying Sky D02 Plus and the unexpected happened, guys. I almost lost the drone. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. So you can see that point on the end here, right there where I'm pointing. Well, I had the drone exactly over that point. And uh, it's only 500 meters away, exactly 500 meters uh, from where I was standing, which was a little bit behind the car. So I got the drone over the point and all of a sudden it gave me a V30 sensor error. Not sure what it is. I think it's because of low lighting, but this happened probably 25 minutes ago because I had to walk all the way up the beach to look for the drone and the sun was up a little higher than that. So as you can see behind me, we still have plenty of light guys. There's like another hour left or so before sunset. And uh, I know Skydio is trying to work on this now, plus the range issues that the drone is having. But I got over that peak and it got that error. I lost all control. I could still see what was going on with the drone. The drone was just shaking back and forth. And all of a sudden it popped up and said, uh, sensor error, drone will land. And oh boy, uh, if you know that look of disgust when you lose a drone, that's the look of disgust that just flushed over my face. So I locked up my car because I have other drones in the car and I started making a run for it up the beach. Somebody just jumped in the water. Okay, so I got three quarters of the way up there and I noticed these three or four people starting to walk down the beach and I asked them, did you see a drone land? And the answer I got was no, sorry. And then at the corner of my eye on the side of the beach here, just beyond the sand, I seen this blue thing with a light on it. And I said, I'm hoping that right there, guys, is the drone I'm looking for. Sure enough, it was. So I was able to just have enough control when that error popped up to hit the uh, boost button and the, the stick to the right, because I knew that drone was over the water and uh, it did take its command. It came over to the edge of the beach just off of the sand and landed on the rocks. So it's, it's the most streak of luck I've ever had, guys, because if you know me, I have the most terrible luck. But today, I'll show you. Today, I actually had good luck. As you can see, it landed, it didn't crash. It came down and landed nice and soft. And thank God it didn't land in the sand either, guys, because the motors would be all full of little particles of sand and grinding up, but they're great. So no more flying the drone four or 500 meters away for me, this drone anyway. Um, I really don't want to lose Skydio. It cost a lot of money. I'm probably close to $2,000 invested in this drone right now, so um, you would think the same way you don't want to lose that drone, right? So that being said, guys, I will just use it for now on for footage for the car. Maybe we'll make a video in the woods tracking or something, but uh, what I was doing today was getting some pictures of the lower, lower sunset and uh, the barracks up there. But uh, luckily we got it back. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's little video. I know it's not much of a video, but I will add the flight in here, guys. Uh, may, maybe even talk over the flight, I'm not sure how I'll make it yet, but you'll get to see it. So an update on my Skydio from down the barracks flying it. This is actually a couple of days later. I ended up sending my flight logs to Skydio and they found out that there is actually something wrong with my drone. Um, it's being shipped back guys, they're sending me a prepaid shipping label and I'll send them the drone down. They're going to replace it, send me a brand new 
tested drone. So I will receive one that works as it should. Now, I figured there was something wrong with my craft for quite some time now, as uh, I had a few flights where it just wasn't operating right, and I was getting sensor errors. Um, it, it just didn't operate correctly, and during that last flight, you'll see what happened anyway, guys. Uh, the craft went out 500 meters, and it gave me an error. It totally disconnected. Uh, lost all control over the craft. I could still see what was going on in FPV. The craft was up in the air and it was just shaking back and forth like this. And uh, obstacle avoidance stopped, shut off completely. It told me the craft was landing. Just luckily I wasn't over water. So with that being said, guys, uh, they are going to replace it. So if you're new to our channel, you know what to do. All that good stuff. Peace out. We'll catch you in the next one. Later on, guys.